Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. The point is this. David was an adulterer and a murderer. David was worthy of death, not just physical death, under the law of the land, the law of God in the earthly consequences for transgressions and sin, but David was deserving of an eternal death. Because again, Romans says, the wages of sin is death. So how in the world, this is the question that we focused on last week, how in the world could Nathan, a prophet of God who speaks God's word, he's not making it up, he's speaking the very words of God, how could Nathan say, essentially, as a prophet of God, meaning how could God himself say, David, your sin has been put away. David, you will not die. The way that God could say to David, without any compromise of his own holiness, his own righteousness, his own justice, the way that God could say to David, you shall not die, although you're a murderer and deserve death, although you're an adulterer and deserve death, and the wages of sin is death, you shall not die, not because I've gotten soft, not because I'm now compromising my holiness, not because I'm handing over my deity and ceasing to be God and relinquishing my justice. No, you shall not die because the wages of sin is death and someone is going to die in your place. I'm not lifting the penalty. No, the penalty must be paid because I am a just God. And I will by no means, as the scripture says, pardon the guilty. So then how are we pardoned? We just did that in our liturgy, an assurance of pardon. The Bible literally says God by no means will pardon the wicked. So how do we get pardoned? Because someone else took the penalty in our place. Substitutionary atonement. Jesus, in his death on the cross, he did not merely set for us an example of sacrificial love. No, Jesus, in his death on the cross, he actually made atonement. He actually paid for sin. He didn't just die as an example that we should follow. No, Jesus died as a substitute. Behold, the Lamb of God who comes to take away the sin of the world. God doesn't pardon us by compromising his holiness. God pardons us, right? It's the free gift of salvation for you, but it wasn't free for him. It's only the free gift of salvation for you because it was incredibly costly to God. It came at the cost of his only begotten son. So David's sin was put away. David shall not die, even though the penalty is death, because Jesus would die in his place. That is the doctrine of justification. That's the objective theological answer to how David was pardoned from his egregious sin of murder and adultery, as well as all the other sins he committed over the course of his life. So that's the objective reality of how God was able to forgive David and how God has forgiven you without any compromise to his own justice. I've often said that Calvary is the place where both the mercy of God and the justice of God kiss. God upholding his mercy and his justice in such a way that neither compromises the other. God perfectly just, God perfectly merciful, giving his son to pay the penalty for the sin that we've committed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, would you consider supporting this ministry by giving a donation of any amount? You can do so by going to our website, rightresponseministries.com. Let's be frank. Sadly, many evangelical pastors and leaders are serving as nothing more than water carriers for the political left. Just as those in the political left hate you, just like those corporations that are left-leaning hate you, these pastors and evangelical leaders hate you. I know that's a strong, a strong statement to make. I'm aware of that, but it's true. They don't care about your personal liberty. They don't care about your freedom. They want you to love your neighbor at the expense of biblical truth, even if it means bearing false witness. That's not us. We're different. We're not the only ones. I don't want to be arrogant. God has reserved a remnant for himself in this time as he has all other ages and all other places, but they are few and far between. It's called a remnant for a reason. We need your help. We want to stand up to tyranny. We want to stand up to this new left totalitarian regime. We want to defend Christians and people, the salt of the earth, who love America and who love God's word. 
but we can't do it without your help. If you're not prepared or able to give a financial gift, one way that you can support this ministry is by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel and clicking the bell so that you'll be notified as we come out with new content. You can also help us by sharing our content on all your social media platforms so that more people can hear the truth of God's word with courage and fidelity. Thanks for tuning in. God bless.